What's up guys, Daryl from Smart Shooters. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about my real beef with Amazon Optics and why I always recommend that you go with a higher quality, reputable company rather than going with the cheaper stuff. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Daryl Rostick, and I am the owner of a company called Smart Shooters LLC. We are a firearms education company. We focus on educating people with the skill set that they need to protect themselves and the people they love. We talk about firearms. We talk about um, personal protection plans and a whole bunch more to keep you safe. I also am an owner of a FFL business called Rostic Arms. We manufacture our own rifles and um, I'd say we do a pretty good job. Today we're going to talk about optics. Now, when it comes to the Amazon optics, the um, Ace brands, the different brands that you come across, I can understand the appeal um, when you see that price ticket, right? Because um, this this firearms game is expensive. And of course you're gonna get the YouTube reviewers with the guys claiming that the optic is just as good. Um, you're gonna see a bunch of that on Facebook groups, YouTube comments, People are always going to argue that their optic is just as good as the Trigicons, the SIGs, the Vortexes, the um, primary arms, the aim points. Um, that's just off the top of my head. Some more reputable companies who make good optics. Uh, people are going to argue that Amazon optics like this one here are just as good. Now, this one. Um, actually came in on another rifle that was uh, traded into my FFL business. And I thought no better time or opportunity than to uh, talk about why I feel like you should just make the extra investment and go with a reputable company. Reason number one is optical clarity. All right. When you out in the field, when you're actually using your optics, the clearer that sight picture, the better. Um, when you go to more expensive manufacturers, there's special coatings that they put on the lenses. Um, there's different manufacturing processes to make sure that they're giving you the clearest sight picture that you can get, that the cheaper companies do not have the same processes um, and therefore your sight picture, your glass picture is not as clear. Target identification is probably one of the most important parts of shooting. Um, target identification is essential to pressing that trigger. We should never be pulling the trigger if we haven't fully identified what we're shooting at. The better the quality of that glass is, the better the sight picture will get and then we'll be able to positively identify whatever it is we may be shooting at. Reason number two, durability and reliability. We absolutely want something that can last in real world shooting. I already told you how this one button that should be clicking, I have to push down on it to get pressure for those buttons to actually catch. Cause that's just spinning and spinning and spinning and it's not supposed to spin like that. It's supposed to select just like this. Click, click, click. Spin, 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 spin. All right, I'm not, you You want something that's durable, all right? You want something that if you dropped it, a button's not broken, the whole site is ruined, right? Like reputable manufacturers, even the ones who get their stuff made in China, Right, have a couple more dollars to spend on the actual equipment because everything matters. The way you adjust your magnification matters, right? I want something that's gonna give me the right amount of resistance. I don't want something 
that's going to be too loose or something that I have to use my whole bicep and half of my other bicep to turn and engage that magnification. That durability is important and it's just not there with the Amazon branded optics, the cheaper optics, the ones that cost a fifth of what a reputable brand may charge. That durability is just not there. The other thing that I would say, third, is the customer support and warranties. These big companies are offering great warranties on their LPVOs and their optic scopes. And some of these other companies just aren't doing that. Um, I won't use names, but for kicks and giggles, I've tried to reach out to a couple of the um, Amazon brands that I see pushed out. I tried to reach out to their customer service and I just didn't have any luck. Like one of them, the number didn't even, phone number didn't even work no more. Uh, this specific company, uh, Barshka, I tried to even hit them up on IG um, to talk about, hey, I wanted to do a video testing their optic to see what they thought. They haven't even been on social media in over a year. Like, I'm like where did they go? online presence matters when it comes to bigger business you want to be able to not only talk to that manufacturer you want to talk to the community of people who use their products right um one of the things i love about the brand hk um the manufacturer is hk if you really want to know how people feel about hk all you have to do is check the comments because the comments are flooded with feedback no matter what they're posting about, people always talk about what they want to talk about. And I think that's cool because I can actually get a gauge and a sense for what's going on with this company and their products. Um, that customer service, those warranties is definitely something you need for issues like this where a button doesn't stop anymore and it just goes and goes forever. And the button doesn't engage unless you hold it down and twist it. That's no bueno. Now, I know what you're gonna say. I got uh, the same optic and I got 6,000 rounds through it with no issues and it holds zero. Great. That actually is the feedback that the community needs because there are some people where this is their budget. There's some people where it's not in their budget to buy a Vortex Razor or even to buy a SIG Tango MSR or to buy any of the other brands. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. I always say do the best your budget allows. The only challenge that I have is when people start talking about how it's just as good as something else. Anything you have to describe is just as good, is definitely not just as good. Um, I have my AR-15 company, and I never ever tell people our rifles are just as good as SIG or Arrow or any, I'll, I'll never tell anybody we're just as good. I will tell people we are amazing, and here are the things why. Here's our quality assurance processes to make sure that every rifle going out the door works just as good as the one that left before it and the one that's leaving after. I'll go through and show people this is where we source our parts to make sure we're only getting premium quality parts and not just build kits from the cheapest place we can find. That's why you feel the difference when you press the trigger. That's why you feel the difference when you go to tear your gun down to clean it and you feel like everything is just smooth and polished and the shooting experience is just unexplainably better, I'll vocalize those things before I ever tell somebody, this is just as good as Arrow Precision. This is just as good as Diamondback. This is just as good as Knight's Armament, right? No matter how I feel about this rifle, if I have to use the words just as good, that is an instant proof that it's not as good, right? Anything that's great should be able to stand on its own without being compared to anything else. 
That is how I know these budget optics are not good because all people do is compare them to everything else. Oh, this lasted way longer than my Vortex. Did it really? Well, how long did it last? There is usable data in people who have these and I salute those who, I, they just gotta get something, right? This is the budget, hunting season's coming. Okay. Do the best your budget allows until you can do better. This is not, I am not by any means a gun snob. If you check my early videos and stuff, I used to have budget stuff on my guns too. I used to run a uh, Firefly Optics from Dunham Sports uh, on my first couple ARs, like, cause that was the budget and I didn't know any better, right? And I'm like, why would I spend $500 on a scope when I could spend 120 and the scope that's 120 had a laser on it, right? And then when you really get involved and you start realizing, oh, I can't zero this laser. Oh, this glass is really foggy. It fogs up quick um, because it doesn't have any anti-fog, anti-glare coatings or anything like that because it's a hundred dollar scope instead of getting something from a reputable company that is gonna have a warranty, it's gonna have some higher manufacturing to it, um, some higher levels of customer service to make sure that I get the best experience out of that product. And so I don't really have a gripe. That's why I literally made sure I put this and posted it on our Instagram. I posted this specific rifle, this RA-15, in our 50 shades of FDE, although my dining room light is kind of funny, so you probably won't get a good view of it. I'll throw a picture of it up at the end or something. But I made sure to post this with this Amazon optic on it. Uh, I wanted people to know I'm not a gun snob by any means. I do believe in quality, and that's really just what it boils down to. And I want you to become a believer in quality. I want you to do your research and figure out the best thing possible. Um, find smaller people on YouTube that uh, haven't been paid by companies yet, right? A lot of people still love my reviews on products and guns because I don't get paid by anybody, right? Um, I don't get paid by any sponsors or anything. In fact, I sponsor myself because I own a firearms company, but Find some honest reviews on what it is you're trying to do. And my rule of thumb is regardless of if it's from Amazon or if it's from uh, Trigicon, always do the best your budget allows. That's it, right? Always do the best your budget allows and you'll never go wrong regardless if it comes from Amazon or if it came fresh out of Sig Sauer right off the production line. That's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit me with a, a notification bell and let me know. You know what I mean? Let me know how y'all feel. I feel like I'm, I'm sure I touched some nerves and some people going to try to shut me down. And that's okay. Um, I am going to test this though, right? Like I'm going to actually see if it holds zero. Uh, I'm going to do a video in the future. Not on this specific rifle because this rifle is actually um, inventory from my business. Uh, but I definitely will test it and you know we'll put maybe 200 rounds down range and uh, see how it goes. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. Love y'all. Peace. Man, this rifle look good. I can't wait to put that SIG LPVO on here. That burnt bronze one, yeah. To match these 50 shades of FDE, yeah. Anyways, man, I'm out of here, peace.